Well, Pride is just one month, but for many in the LGBTQ community, finding acceptance and support can be a lifelong journey. 10 Tampa Bay anchor Josh Sidorowitz takes you to a group in Pinellas County bridging the gap in the community and between generations. When I came out, I was 16. Do you remember that? That. Do I remember that? Yeah. Did they have a car? <laughs> Did they have a car? <laughs> is the sound <laughs> of support. The kind Jeff Greylot always wanted, but didn't always get. And it's epic empath health in Pinellas County bridging the gap. Sometimes we have to create our own family and our own support system. And bringing awareness to the unique challenges that older LGBTQ people face. A lot of folks retired and moved to Florida. And what we do is create a community so folks can meet each other, so they feel less alone, so they feel less isolated during the later part of their life. Epic hosts several social events each month. The Generations program offers activities like drag bingo, even peer-to-peer -peer phone calls. On the day we were there, they were having a workshop about planning for advanced care and the options available. But sometimes, I had to count them. some of the best moments are just this, around the table. Now I'm more um, old and bold. Reminiscing, you know, <laughs> reflecting. Okay. For others, oh, it's, it's, it's kind of saved my life. It's been a literal lifeline. Just getting out of the house sometimes is a real challenge. Like there's no reason to get, to get up this morning. You have to be really self-motivated. So to have something to come to has been really good. We've highlighted other ways LGBTQ retirees have found acceptance here in Florida. Right now on our 10 Tampa Bay Plus streaming app, you can watch our story about how the first gay retirement community was created decades ago right here in Tampa Bay.